Welcome back, I'm Marvin Jackson. Each year we bring you special features on the Washington Redskins cheerleaders. One young lady who grew up a Redskins fan is standing out in her first season on the squad. She's a full-time college student as well. Here's Taylor, our Redskins cheerleader rookie of the year. I'm Taylor. This is my first season as a First Lady of Football. I'm originally from Silver Spring, Maryland, and I'm a full-time student at Bowie State University. This is my third year, and I'm currently studying psychology and criminal justice. Being a full-time student and a professional cheerleader requires a lot of hard work, dedication, and time management. I've always been a student athlete growing up. I've always had to put school first, but I do have a passion for dance, and I believe that I can do both. I'm living my dream and doing both. One thing I will say though, um, being at the professional level, it does take some sacrifices, but it's so worth it being able to be around a group of women that are so inspiring and keep you motivated to only go up from where you are, that I take that into my school career as well. I'm very diligent with my schoolwork, same as I am with being diligent with my dances, and it has definitely taught me time management more and more. I'm being led by the other 35 women who are my teammates, and I just follow and I watch and I pay attention and see how they do so with poise and style. Being from this area also just makes you so proud because when you wear the uniform on your back and you represent something that you once dreamed of and you're now a part of it, you do it like you were made to do it. Growing up, I've always been in diverse school systems, um, even on my dance teams, in high school, we were very diverse. So diversity is kind of all I know, and I'm very thankful that my parents were able to expose me to that. But then being a part of the team and wanting to pursue being a professional cheerleader for the Washington Redskins, I knew I had a place here. And I knew it was a place where I could grow into who I wanted to be, but still stay true to who I am. And we are so diverse in our careers in our cultural and ethnic backgrounds and in our dance backgrounds. And that's super important because none of us are the same, but we all have a similar goal and love and that's performance, entertainment, dance, and service. Attending an HBCU is a proud experience that I'm so forever thankful that I could say that I'm doing. And I think that comes from the family that I've created at Bowie, the support, and also the representation I get from my professors and my peers. It's very uplifting to walk on campus and know that people have my back. That's not something that you can get everywhere. There's nothing like a HBCU, and I don't know how else I could speak on it because I'm still living the experience and it's still so surreal. But I know in a few years after I've attended HBCU for my master's program and when I get my PhD, I'm just gonna be forever grateful that we have HBCUs and that I went to Bowie State University, the first HBCU in Maryland. And that's history to me. My family is like the biggest support system and <laughs> My dad's a diehard Redskins fan. When he found out I was auditioning and when he came to my final show, there were tears in his eyes. And my dad does not cry very often. My sister, my big sister, who is my role model in life, is so proud of me for what I have gone after. It's so amazing to share every experience I can with them. When they were at my first game, I looked up, it was third quarter, we had just finished a routine, and my sister was right there and was recording me. She was like, go baby, go. And I was like, I can't cry right now because my captain's dancing and I need to follow. Then we go down to fourth quarter and I see my nephews. My two nephews who are like the sunshine of my world were just saying, go Titi, go Titi. Not even watching the game, watching me. And then to see my mom and my dad standing together just being so proud of their baby girl 
Like I'm just getting so warm right now because it's so amazing and they have been with me every step of the way from the beginning of my dance career to now and who knows what it holds in the future. You can be challenged and pushed to your limits and what keeps you going is that raw love and connection for what we do and what we stand for. That's something that can't be taught. That's something that you might not even be able to learn right away. It's something that we're born with and that's why we are here and we were meant to be here. And that passion is what drives us to come to rehearsal, go to these appearances, be present in our community and still have love for it even when it gets hard. And it will get hard, but that's how you get better. And that's when the hard work really shines through. And it's rewarding at the end ultimately when you are where you're supposed to be and your success is being shown and you're happy. Ultimately, it is to be happy. And I think that that does come from our passion. It's me! <laughs>